Hello, welcome, I'm Ellie. Today we're gonna to build some Pokemon, which is not something you can do with Lego because they don't have the license. So this is a Mega Constructs set. This is the Mew versus Mewtwo Clash. And this was actually released a few years ago. I got this second hand, but the person who I got it from swore that it has never been built or opened. I mean, it looks a bit opened here. Uh, so we'll find out what it's like with the bags inside. Hopefully all the pieces are here because I, to buy this, yeah, it's, it's not a cheap set anymore. Uh, yeah, so cool. This is very exciting. We're going to build some Pokemon out of building blocks and I have not built with Mega Constructs before. So this is going to be an interesting experience <laughs> for me. This is, I don't even know what this is. So this is, are these bags not numbered? There's no number on this. So there's a bag, there's our instruction book. Looks a bit chewed on on the sides, but it yeah, should be all right. And yeah, okay, a little base platey thing. Let's just tip it all out here. Okay, there are some numbers on here. So there's, there's bag two, bag one. None of these look opened. This is exciting. Okay, this does look as though it is brand new. So maybe only the outer box was was opened and then nothing else happened. Okay, so we've got two unnumbered bags. We've got the rest of them have got numbers on them. We've got our instructions. What do we do? We are, okay, let's just see how we go. So first bag has got the face of Mew in it, which sounds, sounds a bit concerning. So let's build Mew, the cutest. I, I, I was about to say the cutest of the Pokemon, but I think you would probably fight me on that. But I mean, Mew is definitely a very, very cute Pokemon and powerful. So Mew's a mythical Pokemon. Let me concentrate on getting all these bits in the right place. So we've got we got little ball joints on, on in all directions, so head, arms, legs. This is the belly bit on the front, and we attach the head like that. That's just adorable! We can <laughs> tilt the head. Oh my gosh, without arms and legs, Mew looks, yeah, really super cute, like a baby Mew. But these are Mew's feet. Oh my gosh! Oh, the posability of this is insane. <laughs> That's so gorgeous. That's the wrong piece. So let's put the other arm bit on there. Oh, look! <laughs> Mew! You're hilarious and awesome! And you also need a tail. So, okay, these pieces are... Every other time I've built anything with Lego that's not Lego, so any other building block, they've been the same sort of shapes. They're like, the blocks have been the same shapes as Lego. But these ones, we got some entirely new... Yeah, new configurations here. So Mew's ready! Mew can be angled, tail can be angled, arms and legs posable, head can be tilted. So cute! Oh my gosh! Alright, that's very, very cute. I just keep trying to fiddle with fiddle with the tail and seeing whether I can... <laughs> okay, alright. So there's a tiny little bit of habitat included in this set and we put bits on this base plate here, which like this green I'm trying to figure out how these the instructions for these mega constructs are not like Lego and I'm nah, having some troubles here so that goes there and these like there's all these angles already on the bottom plate how are these supposed to go on that is that supposed to go there that looks weird that looks really funky not in a good way not in a good funky way so this is okay that goes like that maybe that's supposed to be held on like that and that how does that go this goes there how does that other green bit, it's supposed to be, let's uh, tip it over. We'll tip it over and have a look. Yeah, all right, okay, so that's all right. Okay, so that's that was a really, really hard way to put together that habitat. Now we've just added another dark green wavy bit and it just fits in beautifully. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, all right, so does, look, do Mega Constructs, for, some, with, for other people who have a lot more experience with Mega Constructs, are you able to tell me, does, do they make their like individual pieces for individual sets? Like, I don't know, I don't know what I'm asking. Like, are these pieces that you would see in a lot of different sets, these shapes and stuff, or are they made particularly for this set and then they don't make them again? I don't know if that was very clear. Anyway, all right, but I'm interested because like the pieces for Mew are really, really, they, they're kind of unique to, to the body type. Anyway, all right, so tree bit on the back here. We've made a really, really nice rocky thing going on in the middle. I love the little blobs of green on top of the brown. They're so cute. <laughs> this is very, very cartoony. It actually looks very much like, yeah, like the cartoon. I like the pointy leaves here. Pointy leaves on the tree, and there is a ball joint happening right in the middle of that grey, rocky area. More leaves on over here, and now we're pretty much done with the habitat. But we do get to build uh, Mew's 
What do you call this? Like, is it, what is this orange bit? No, hold on. I can't figure out from the instructions. I think it has to be this see-through bit to stick this on here. So this is Muse Pink Orb and Muse should be able to fit in here. This is going to be cool. This actually, so we put this on the, this goes on the other side. This looks like a Pokeball configuration. Ah, uh, yeah, nice. Look at that, but just in pink. And I don't know what to do with, what am I supposed to do with this? No, it's not the orange bit. It's supposed to be a see-through bit. Having so many troubles with these instructions. <laughs> I'm so used to Lego instructions. Okay, and we need to put this little stick, this pin bit through here, but that has not gone through for love nor money. Oh my gosh. Right, yeah, I forced that through and it's still not all the way through yet. So hopefully it'll be enough to be able to hold Mew in position inside the orb. Look at that. That is, that's so cute. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, so... Mew's orb needs to be floating in the air, which is what that ball joint in the middle of the habitat is. So now we are on a transparent stick. So it looks like that's in the air and you can actually, yeah, you can, oh, you can angle this and pop it wherever you want. Oh my gosh, exciting. All right, we're up to bag, we're up, we're up, we're up to bags number three and four, which have got the colors in here, the, the movie purpley pinky colors for Mewtwo, but I have to figure out how these go together. I really am struggling with these instructions and the pieces do not go together as easily as I would like. My poor little fingers, this was all. Okay, but that's okay because we're building Pokemon that makes everything better. Pokemon. Uh, this is the face for Mewtwo. That looks amazing. That's really great. Okay, and that's a great shape too, the little snout. My gosh, okay. All right, and this bit on the top is gonna need Mewtwo's little horns. Oh, they're a cool shape. And those, ex oh yeah, these are some, there are some shapes in here we could really use in Lego. All right, and rounded over front head, that's nice. This is more, we've got some ball jointy bits here. So this is going to be the top part of Mewtwo's torso. And, oh my gosh, that's so hard to get on. It's like the two, two little pillowy bits, but they're not going, mm. yeah. Okay, so I forced them off on off camera. So they're on. These are, this is the back and there's a hole there to plug a bit of the, of the, uh, the, the cord that goes from, from the head into the back. Oh my gosh, this is going to look so good. All right. Big ball joints happening. Little pinny bits. I don't even know how this is all going to look when it goes together. This goes in here. That sticks on there. These colors are so nice. <laughs> They're really pretty. They're so pastel. Mewtwo, you're so pastel. <laughs> Okay, all right, I'm focusing on what's happening. Get all of these little angle bits on correctly so that all the roundy overy bits look rounded over correctly. Very nice. Oh my gosh. All right, and this then goes on there. So that's the torso, the body, and the head, but the head needs a little joint in between to make the neck. Look at that. That looks so cool. Ooh, all right. So Mewtwo just needs some, well, just needs some arms and legs. So we got bags number five and six for these. So here we go. Some nice substantial chicken drumstick legs. I mean, they do look like chicken drumsticks, right? They look like drumstick legs. They're nice and thick at the top. <laughs> Don't at me. They do. You have to admit they do. All right. Let's continue building them so that you can, so I can demonstrate exactly, exactly what I mean about chicken drumstick legs. Look, see, does that not just look like a, a drumstick? It does. Let's build the other one. Oh my gosh. There's going to be so much shouting at me in the comments. How dare you say Mewtwo has chicken drumstick legs? <laughs> okay. Must build. Must build. <laughs> I'm amusing myself. All right, so we've got now two chicken drumstick legs. Look at them. They're gorgeous. Now we need the feet. So these bits here are, yeah, we need two of these. There we go. Now we've got two and we pop them in there like that and pop them onto the leg joints, onto those thigh joints there. And then we turn the feet around. That looks amazing. You can angle. Oh, wow. So poseable. That is really, really great. Okay. Now we just need some arms, which do not look like chicken drumsticks. So that's fine. These two look, they've got little webbed ends, don't they? So look at these like little lizard fingers. <laughs> they're so cute. Now they're supposed to actually fold in. 
completely, but they really don't. I don't know how, according to the instructions, that's what they're supposed to do, but I cannot get them to fold in any further. But they're angled in and that looks good enough. Okay, so we have got two arms, which we can move around in, oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> hiya! So many great angles. Now all we need is the tail and Mewtwo's tail is really distinctive. So let's see how that looks when it's built in brick form. So lots and lots of little, little articulated hingy bits. And this is going to be the, this is the end. It's the shield bug bit on the end. And these, oh wow, they're cool. Cool little rounded ovary shape bits. So these are the bits that are going to attach it to the body. Wow, they look so good. They're not terribly secure with those little bits hanging off the edge, but what, they look fantastic. And we need one more. And that one's the biggest of the lot. And then... Then Mewtwo's tail is done, and then this, then this whole set is done. Then we can pose them, pose them, and you can battle with them. Maybe they might fall apart. <laughs> Depends how well I put them together. Okay, all right. Wow, that tail looks so reptilian and amazing. So let's attach that to the ball joint on Mewtwo's butt, and we are ready. We just need this little bit here. There we go. That that looks really fantastic. Oh, hold on. No, there is more. Mewtwo needs the power blast. Oh, that's going to look so good. So Mew's got the little pink power ball and yeah, and Mewtwo gets the, gets this blue, the blue power blast thing with the black on the end. How does this look? So that goes on there. That plugs in there. No, hold on. That has to go the other way around. <gasps> and the, the black bit on the, oh my gosh, that looks really cool. And then just stick that in the middle of the palm. How does that go in? Oh, wow, that looks so good. <gasps> like it's emanating from the palm. So cool. All right. So we have got Mew. We have got Mew too. We've got a little tiny habitat and like so much posability. We also have so many extra pieces. Is this normal for a Mega Construct set? Have I missed like half of the building instructions? I mean, what were these orange bits even for? I do not know. <laughs> What's going on here? I am I am 99.9% .9 sure I put this together correctly. So looks like it just comes with a lot of extra pieces. I'm not used to that in Lego. So here we go though. It looks amazing as a display piece. And there's going to be so many ways to pose these two little dudes. Oh my gosh. All right. I hope you enjoyed my very first Mega Constructs build. Very possibly my last. Though they do have the Pokemon license. And that's kind of a bit irresistible. So make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think of the set, and I'll be back with another video really soon. So I'll see you then. Bye!